One of my major goals has been to um, increase exposure to the um, to undergrads, to high schoolers of diverse backgrounds, to neuroscience, that it's possible for you to go into research in the neurosciences. Oftentimes when um, undergrads or high schoolers hear um, that your job is being a neuroscientist, they don't picture someone like me. I make it a point to be present at any recruitment event, any opportunity to give tours of my lab to high schoolers, undergrads, I make sure that they can see me and importantly, see me in my work environment, in my lab coat, um, all of which to say, you can be just like me. I hope that my work uh, sends the message outside of UAB that UAB does support individuals that are like me. In order to inspire innovation in the neurosciences, we need all individuals, all types of individuals from different backgrounds to be represented at the table. That is how uh, new ideas are uh, formulated, uh, new approaches are formulated, and uh, there's no way that we can make huge strides in the neuroscience field or any science field without having different representation. In my heart, the work that I'm doing um, gives me a lot of hope and pride, um, especially with UAB supporting our program, uh, because it, it just makes me excited and hopeful for the future. Um, it makes me uh, realize that things are actually working. The service and initiative that prompted this nomination is the Black Experience. It's a group uh, designed to work with students who are students who identify as being black and deal with the stigmas attached to being a black student at a predominantly white institute. Uh, the Black Experience has two groups, uh, Hey Sis Hey and Fellows Let's Go There. Hey Sis Hey is for female identified students and Fellows Let's Go There is for male identified students. Our group is held in New Fresh Dormitory. We do that on purpose because we want to meet the students where they are, so we want to go into their space. Uh, the vibe of the group is, you know, really kind of family oriented. I think once we start having a discussion, that safe space um, is really felt and people are really vulnerable. I would say one of the most surprising things when we first started, the level in which people were willing to talk, were willing to express what was going on, um, the support that the students give each other, which is a big goal of the group, is cu creating community among one another so that they feel supported not only by staff but by one another. We get in the group, you know, students that we probably would not otherwise lay eyes on if they're in a space where they feel that it's safe um, to be themselves to be able to talk about things or navigate different things that they otherwise wouldn't do it anywhere else. We have a range of topics that go from relationships to self-esteem, toxic relationships, traumatic issues. We've created a space that's not necessarily um, within counseling. The goal is to create trust with our students so that we can decrease some of the stigma of mental health. And by building that trust, they're willing to reach out to counseling if they need to. I hope this work sends the message that we're working to meet the needs of our diverse population of students. It is intentional in sense that we are making sure that we are reaching marginalized um, populations. UAB really prides itself on diversity. Um, it's one of the core values of it. And within that, you see it play out because of the support of the university. Um, that is from LGBT students to minority students to other aspects of diversity. They are putting um, finances into helping us do these programs. Um, they're giving us the platform to be able to do it. One of the things we talk about when we go to conferences is having upper administration support. You can't do anything without having that support. And so because we have it, we're able to make the change that we're making and it's been very influential and successful. The work that we've been doing here at UAB in the Occupational Therapy Department is um, just helping to open up that conversation for diversity. This past summer, we held a full day of diversity training. Because we were kind of experiencing some of our own, kind of, I guess, 
cultural differences and challenges within our own cohort and we just felt like it was something that needed, the conversation needed to take place beyond the classroom. It was just very empowering and you could tell that eyes were being opened um, to different perspectives and you could see that change was being felt and made during that day. And then to look across the room and see um, just the emotion in people's eyes and, and the trust that was building from one classmate to the next and then to leave the event and kind of feel a sense of camaraderie. I think this accomplishment for the UAB community says that no matter how you look or what you think, um, you can actually make a change. This is something that's hopefully will be continued and carry out um, within our department and then, you know, start to change our profession and other people and start to spread over into other departments. I think overall winning this, this award as a group, I, I think that we all would agree that it's gratifying. I mean, we never really thought that it would go this far to get an award. We really just wanted to make like a small impact. I feel that our work has, of course, impacted our cohort, also the department as well, as to knowing that, you know, we are fully open about having these conversations. We, love to, we would love to change the dynamic here within our department. This training was the first one, um, but right now we're hoping to take the next steps to continue this training annually for future cohorts um, and even hoping to expand it to maybe the physical therapy department, other school of health professions classes as well. It's important for other students to know that if you think that there's a change that can be made, that you can voice your opinion, you can step up, you can make that change, you, you just have to be a leader. I think that we've created space for difficult conversations. I think we've created space for grace with each other and just opportunities to listen and hear each other out and be open to diversity in a way um, that I, we never thought was possible until this happened. I've worked with a group of students on UAB's campus to highlight 14 various sites around campus that have historical significance. For example, this building that we're sitting in right here. The Spencer's Honors House actually used to be a church where Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. used to come and give sermons. This was also the site of the FBI headquarters for the investigation into the women's clinic bombing that took place right across the street because they also performed abortions, which is a woman's right. A few other places around campus that have historical significances are the corner of the Hill Student Center right across the street from Campbell Hall where a man was picked up to be lynched. We're planning to place interactive markers at each site. Originally, the trail was ju just going to be a civil rights trail. However, as we were identifying markers around campus, we noticed that there were many more that were outside of the realm of civil rights. So we hope that this trail continues to expand even after these 14 markers are established to commemorate various human rights achievements. We have been talking with the Office of Student Affairs about having courses that revolve and are centered around these markers and also having events that are centered around these markers. So they're not just standing reminders, but they're also actively going to be playing a role in the future of students' lives. I think it's crucial for UAB to highlight diversity champions on their campus, especially because this work is being done on a daily basis by professors, faculty, staff, and students. It truly is a testament to how a first-generation American, the daughter of immigrants, has the same equal opportunities as other students on UAB's campus. I never would have imagined getting this award.
Active Minds' mission is to change the conversation about mental health. And we want to make mental health something that has less stigma around it, something that is as normal to discuss as any other physical health issue. Mental health is something that affects everyone and specifically like culturally and racially mental health is different it presents differently for every single culture or race depending on your background depending on where you're coming from what we do the most is we tell people about the resources available to them through the university and also in the area we do this through tabling where we just sit out and we encourage students to come up and talk to us about mental health or where to get help on campus we give out pamphlets about just like general de-stressing methods what kind of resources there are on and off campus. No matter your ethnicity or your, like any part of your identity, mental health is for everyone because everyone has a brain, so everyone has mental health. And if you're stressed or struggling in any sort of way, like it's asking for help is the first step to do. I think I've been like really impressed with how people have been coming to our events and being like, you know, this affects me too. And how people have decided that they want to be more open in the long run about mental health because of going to our events, making it a more digestible conversation. Receiving this award further validates the kind of work that we're doing. It shows that we are helping to make the conversation about mental health more accessible. And by forging this kind of path to make mental health open to other identities that aren't typically included in the conversation. We hope that this will provide a greater space and more power for us to continue doing this kind of work.